So a while back I made a video on how to reduce temperatures without upgrading your cooler and a part of that was how to undervolt your CPU. Now that video was more focused on the desktop side of things than laptops. But at that point in time I didn't feel the need to make this video because the same procedure was applicable for laptops as well. Until in 2019 Plunderbolt vulnerability hit Intel CPUs, which means Intel had to roll out BIOS updates and patches to existing systems and laptops to disable Undervolt using Windows software such as Throttle Stop or Intel XTU. Now AMD at that point in time didn't have equivalent software. So at this point in time Intel and AMD do not allow undervolting your CPU from Windows. But all hope is not lost. Here's what you can do. On the Intel side of things we'll be using XTU because it can still do a lot of adjustment when it comes to temperature control and voltage control. So first step is to disable Turbo Boost short power max completely and then adjust the TDP of the Turbo Boost. By default for my processor, I would check the TDP on Intel's website, which shows 45, so I can bring it down to 40 or 35, depending on the cooling capacity or the ambient temperatures that I live in. For me, that's 40, and it still runs at good quality, high speed, 3.4 gigahertz on all cores, with hyper threading, but your mileage may vary. How do you test your temperatures? Once you change the settings, go to stress test, and hit start, watch for 5 minutes, see as your temperatures hit or trigger a thermal throttling indicator or if it reaches uncomfortable amounts you can actually reduce TDP further but do keep in mind that it might reduce a little bit of performance as well. Now for AMD laptops we would be using a software called Ryzen controller. Now it's not first party like Intel but it can achieve what we need to do. Just follow the same steps, find your TDP for your AMD processor. Say for example here I've got a 3500H which is a third gen Zen mobile chip which I believe is 35 watts. Reduce it as required and watch your temperatures go down without losing too much of your performance. I know it's not the same as Undervolt where we weren't losing any performance but here you might see one to two percent performance loss but it's much better because you'd be pushing the temperature down by 10 maybe 20 percent depending on your scenario and that's it done if you still have really high temperatures that are uncomfortable for you say 85 90 degrees on the cpu under load don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you get notified because i'm gonna make a video on the noctua nth2 which is the best thermal compound for the price in my opinion and uh, I will be comparing it to the Arctic Silver 5 which is kind of your run-of-the-mill best thermal compound as of three four years ago so subscribe for that and if this video helped you drop a thumbs up share with your friends comment if you have a question and thanks again for watching I'll see you guys in the next one cheers